stars and stripes It's fighting back them butterflies I one time I was out here and took a, a hand off up the middle and then kind of made a cut and then Coach Cook says, you know, Jake, there's no play in this mm -hmm. offense where the fullback cuts before the line of scrimmage or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's the, what's the, uh, the story there? Uh, and do you have like fancy feet? It's, Are you known no, for no. fancy feet? Or? Uh, not really. Um, what happened was is, is we have a dive play and uh, I got to stay on my track and if I cut back, I'm on my own is basically what he's saying because I mean, he said in films, it's okay if you do it, but no, you're on your own. You're not gonna have any blocking. So it's basically you and, and the backside of the defense. Um, but normally you try to stay on our track, and, and I remember that one play, I think it was the same we were talking about, uh -huh. uh, it happened to work out, but he said, don't get used to doing that, so that comes with a lot of film study. Yeah, is that just your natural, are you reacting? Uh, yeah, to be honest, yeah. When I first got here, I remember the first couple of years of running fullback, I wanted to be like against the grain kind of runner, and, and with a lot of film study, and a couple hits later, I realized you can't do that in college, so then it was running the track, so. Picked it up yeah. eventually. Tell me about this quarterback battle from from your perspective. From my perspective, yeah. they both bring different things to the table. Yeah. Um, you know, Dre Dre has the uh, the ability when a play breaks down with his feet, he just makes something happen. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I've seen him make plays where it's like, oh, it's a sack, and, and you know he gets out of it somehow and gets you know 10 yards or breaks it off for a big touchdown or a big touchdown run or something like that. Um, Tony, you know, he just knows the offense so well and he's got the experience and he, you know playing last year and you know I feel like he really picked up where he left off last year. Um, you know, they both bring, they both throw the ball really well. They, you know, their, their game's just a little different, you know. Um, who am I to say, you know, who's the better one? I feel like they're both can come in, step into the offense, and, you know, they're both going to lead us to victories. So, either way, you know, I, I'm fine with it. They both hand the ball off the same to me, so. <laughs> yeah, and you and Jordan kind of share this symbiotic relationship where you're not in the game at the same time, but yeah. you guys rotate a little bit, mm -hmm. and you see other positions on the field where guys rotate and yeah. multiple guys will play. What, does it matter if do you need uh, offensively? Do you need one quarterback to be in there, or can it be a position where multiple I feel guys like, play? Unlike you know um, Jordan and I playing fullback, where we can rotate, where you know it's not gonna be much of a, a drop off, so to speak. And, and I'm not saying this drop off between the quarterbacks. It's just you need that one voice in the huddle. I think you know, and I understand coach's philosophy, and and I bought into it. You know, we need one leader out there, and and that's gonna be the quarterback. You know, and he's in the huddle. He's the only one talking. So it's kind of you know, we have one quarterback. He's the guy. You know, and, and that's kind of how we play. One last question to wrap up. How does it feel being the local, the local guy? I love it to be honest. It's pretty. It's pretty nice. It's got a few. Uh, uh, the biggest thing is my, you know, my grandparents are able to come to all the games. My parents are all the games. And, you know, we get some of the you high school guys coming man, over. And you got a song. The boys are falling.